Japan was broke in 1945. The country colonized parts of Asia and was defeated by the United States of America, a symbol of peace and democracy. After World War II, America literally had the power to decide the fate of Japan. America could have buried Japan, but this doesn't happen because of the threat from global communism. America didn't want economic dissatisfaction to turn into a communist revival. America's intentions are clear in this formerly classified document as they identify Japan's economic revival as a priority. America will need to support Prime Minister Shigeru Yoshida and Japan to thrive and avoid communism. Speaking of communism, America also wanted Japan to create a military force to defend their own territory from communist Russia and China. In response to America, Yoshida says no. Yoshida's pushback and negotiation with America creates the Yoshida Doctrine. There are three pillars to this doctrine. Number one, America will be Japan's security. Number two, Japan will have a minimal force, which is the SDF. And number three, because America is defending Japan, the country can solely focus on economic revitalization. Yoshida and his finest minister, Hayato Ikeda, will help rebuild Japan from the ashes. The environment was ripe for growth as well. America was determined to militaristically and financially support Japan. The country can focus on re-establishing diplomatic relations. The Korean War created demand for Japanese goods and services. Growth sparks innovation, and eventually more people get rich. This strategy allowed Japan to achieve high growth of roughly 10% GDP growth per year from the 1950s to 1970s. Technically, Prime Minister Ikeda and Sato were the ones who oversees economic growth, gets Japan joined OECD, creates the Asian Development Bank and so on, but the kickstart of Japan's economic growth is credited to Yoshida, and that's the Yoshida Doctrine. There are criticisms against the terminology Yoshida Doctrine, and whether Yoshida really did much, but that's up for the scholars to decide. What we can all agree upon, though, is the miraculous economic revival of Japan, and that this man is the one who was there from the beginning.